Hey there! In this video, we're going to be talking about the Grand Solar Minimum and how it may affect our world. Let's dive in! What is the Grand Solar Minimum? The Grand Solar Minimum is a natural phenomenon that occurs when the sun's activity decreases. It happens approximately every 400 to 500 years and can last for several decades. During this time, there is a drop in temperature on Earth. What are the potential impacts? The potential impacts of the Grand Solar Minimum are many and varied. For example, Europe could experience colder and harsher winters, leading to crop failures and energy shortages. Asia could face droughts and monsoons, affecting agriculture and potentially causing food shortages. North America could experience more frequent and severe storms, leading to flooding and damage to infrastructure. However, it's important to note that these are only potential impacts, and scientists are still studying the Grand Solar Minimum to better understand its effects. What does the science say? Scientists have been studying the Grand Solar Minimum for decades, and their research has yielded some interesting findings. For example, a recent study found that the Grand Solar Minimum could lead to a decrease in global crop yields by up to 10%. Another study found that the Grand Solar Minimum could increase the risk of droughts in the western United States. Some scientists believe that the Grand Solar Minimum may be able to offset some of the warming caused by human activities, but this is still a topic of debate. Decline of Sunspots One of the primary indicators of the Grand Solar Minimum is the decline of sunspots. Sunspots are dark areas on the sun's surface that are associated with increased magnetic activity. During the Grand Solar Minimum, the number of sunspots decreases, and this has a cooling effect on our climate. According to recent data, sunspot activity has been decreasing, and this is contributing to the cooling of our planet. Increase in Earthquakes and Volcanic Eruptions Another impact of the Grand Solar Minimum is an increase in earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. This is because the cooling effect of the Grand Solar Minimum causes the Earth's crust to contract, which can result in increased seismic activity. In addition, the decrease in solar activity can result in changes in the Earth's magnetic field, which can trigger volcanic eruptions. In recent years, we have seen an increase in both earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, which are likely linked to the Grand Solar Minimum. Changes in Precipitation Patterns One of the most significant impacts of the Grand Solar Minimum is the changes in precipitation patterns. Some areas are experiencing increased flooding, while others are facing drought. In California, for example, Atmospheric rivers have caused severe flooding in recent years, while in the Middle East, areas that were once dry are now experiencing increased rainfall. These changes in precipitation patterns are causing significant challenges for communities around the world. Conclusion, the Grand Solar Minimum is a significant event that is having a profound impact on our climate today. The decline of sunspots, increase in earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, and changes in precipitation patterns are just a few of the effects that we are currently experiencing. It is essential that we continue to study and understand these impacts to prepare for the future challenges that we may face. Outro, thank you for watching our video on the Grand Solar Minimum and its impact on our climate today. If you found this video informative, please like and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content on climate change and the environment.